Minecraft, but anything that I build, I'll get. If I build a TNT, I'll get a TNT block. If I build a portal gun, I'll get a portal gun. And if I build the flipping infinity gauntlet, I'll get an infinity gauntlet. I am inevitable. I'll need to build illegal Minecraft items in order to escape Bessie's laboratory. Build the like button and smash it if you think I'll be able to escape. Welcome. Uh, my name is Dr. Steven. Uh, you might be wondering where you are right now. I've prepared 10 puzzles to see if you can beat them using our technology. The button that can create anything you build. Uh, I need to think about a new name. In each test chamber, your objective will be to beat the puzzle and advance to the next chamber doors. I'll give you some time to check each test before giving you the button. I'm going to be watching and analyzing your every move. Uh, good luck. Our technology can create any item you want. I'll dispense you with the button. Uh, you can only use it once. Hello! How's it going, Dr. Steven? Uh, this is it. In my hand is the build button. Uh, let's test it out. Oh, uh, okay. I have 60 seconds to build. Oh, uh, what do I do? Press if you're finished building. I am not even close to finished building. Um, okay. What do I make? What, what do I What do? I do? Um, okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to grab some white uh, concrete here. I have a, a rough idea. We're going to add some blue. We need to get some blue quickly. Okay. We're going to grab that and then also orange. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make two different portal guns because that is the only thing that came to my mind right now. Okay, we're gonna make a gun like this. This will be uh, this this gun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm running out of time. Okay, and then we'll also make another gun on this side. This is going to be absolutely terrible, but as long as it's close, the build button should be able to recognize exactly what I'm trying to do. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Oh, uh, not not blue. Okay, we need to do one blue and then one orange. Uh, I think that looks good. Yep, definitely. They don't really even have like a handle. They kind of are just like handheld. So we'll make it like this and then we'll get rid of this area. We'll add to the back of this and we <laughs> now have a blue portal gun and an orange portal gun. Please tell me this is actually going to work. It's analyzing. Come on! Portal gun detected. No flipping way. We got 7 out of 10 points. It actually liked my build. So I should be able to right click down there and then left click up there. I cannot believe we just thought of that right on the spot. Well, let's hop through. It actually worked. Wow, that was weird. Didn't even knew portal guns existed. Nice job. Thank you, Dr. Steven. I had to think on my feet very quickly there. Some puzzles can be solved in multiple ways. Every time you build an item, we rate your build and your creativity. That's why most of your scores are going to be low. What do you mean, Dr. Steven? What? Does he not think I'm a builder? Okay, maybe he has a point. So we got through room number one. Next up, we need to go all the way up there. So there's grass on the ground here. Maybe we could build like a giant beanstalk? I could also probably just build a jetpack and then just boost my way up. Wait a second. Okay, I have a pretty good idea. Let's see if this is going to work. We'll pick up the build button and let's right click it down in three, two, one. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to need some uh, brown concrete right here. We'll grab that. I guess brown terracotta works as well. Uh, and then we'll also need some. And what I'm thinking is that I might actually be able to build something that turns into a super mega tree. So if I were to grab like a sapling right here, right? If I could build something that looks like a sapling, but it's a giant giant sapling, then it might turn into a giant tree when we spawn it in. Okay, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Why is it so difficult to build so fast? Okay, this is looking good. We'll add it in like another little branch right here, and then we'll just need to make it like super tall. So we'll just keep adding to the center here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, we'll add in some leaves like right at the top. So this is going to be a super tall sapling. A super sapling. Oh my gosh, this is so nerve wracking. I feel like I'm being judged on my building capabilities, and my building capabilities are not good whatsoever. I mean, it kind of looks okay. It almost looks like a moldy turd, but also... It looks like a mega sapling. It actually detected it. We got eight out of 10 points. I'm way better than I thought. How do you like them apples, Dr. Steven? He thought he could trap me here. Oh my gosh, it turned the entire area into vines that I can climb. Yep, just gonna beep out my way all the way to the top. Never mind, I picked the wrong vines. Yes, we made it. Now, who's going to clean all of that? Not me. This one is my favorite. This room is full of lasers that will instantly kill you. Just be careful. What the flip? What the? What did you just say? Yo, did my man just say this entire room is filled with lasers? How in the heck in heck am I supposed to get across? So I was thinking I might be able to build some sort of like suction cup so that I could go up the wall and then go to the ceiling and then Spider-Man my way across. But I also don't know if there's lasers on the ceiling too. So I need a way to detect the 
lasers. I think I might have an idea. Let's test it out. Okay, for this one, we're just going to need some black wool and also some gray wool or concrete. That'll do, that'll do, this'll do. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just make this. We're gonna go up this side just a little bit more. That'll be the handle and that'll go over here to the other side where we'll have some gray that goes down here. That looks pretty good so far. And then up top here, we're gonna need to have a giant can where we can actually like spray onto the lasers. We're gonna make a spray can that can detect the lasers. I honestly think that that looks good. And then maybe like at the end, we can add in some water just so it knows that I want to add some like liquid that I can spray onto the lasers so that we can create a mist and detect them. It's a little bit scuffed with the water over there, but I think the machine might understand what I'm going for. And it did, laser detection detected. One point. All right, well, that's fair. Does it actually work? Oh, oh, it does. Oh, that is cool. Okay, so we need to go directly forward, right? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Okay, we're gonna go right, I think. Or wait, can I go left? No, 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 definitely not left. We're gonna go right here. There we go. Okay, we're just gonna need to continue to look around and detect. So I can go this way. Oh, I'm clicking as fast as possible. Okay, okay, so we need to go straight and then not into those lasers there. Oh, this is so cool. And then we're gonna go this way. Oh, it thought that I was gonna walk right into the lasers, but not today. Dr. Steven, you've been outsmarted once again. Okay, so can I just like sneak into there? Can, can I go right through these lasers? Is this the last of it? Let's step on the pressure plate. Well done. Thanks, Dr. Steven. Didn't actually expect you would make it. Well, I mean, Dr. Steven could have a little bit more faith in me. This next room looks very complicated. There's computers all around. And also, what is this? Is that mine bay? This door is connected to that computer. Let's see how you figure out this one. So we need to somehow hack our way into this computer in order to open the next door. The computer is just connected to this redstone repeater that goes directly to the door and locks it. So if I were to, I don't know, maybe destroy the computer, it should turn off the redstone signal that's going to lock the door. And what better thing to destroy the computer with than a hammer? Okay, we're gonna need some black wool ASAP. We'll get some yellow. And then also at the top, we're gonna have some iron. Okay, so the handle is going to be black. We'll have this be yellow for safety. And then at the top, we're just gonna make Mjolnir, Thor's hammer. Yes, that is beautiful and should work perfectly for smashing. I actually got this one done a little bit early, so maybe I'll get some extra points. Analyzing. Come on, be nice to me. Hammer detected. So at least we have the hammer. What's my score? Six out of ten. Not my best of the day, but that was definitely probably not my best build. I'll take it. Bet you didn't think I'd make a hammer, Dr. Steven. Smash! Oh, <laughs> yeah. That did the trick. The most common solution to this was hacking the computer. I see you went for another route. Well, Dr. Steven, I like to destroy things. Hmm. It looks like they don't like humans here. Humans bad. On the wall, it has a picture of Steve and it just says not allowed. The creepers are having their very own birthday party. So I'm gonna need to figure out a way to infiltrate. We can make an invisibility cloak. The build button analyzer might get a little bit confused by that. We could also just disguise ourselves as a zombie. Oh wait, we could just disguise ourselves as a creeper. I could just build a creeper helmet. Hopefully that works. Okay, we'll need some lime wool and I guess some white in there as well. And I guess some dark uh, green, green, green. Give me some green, give me some green. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna just make a box right now. I only have 30 seconds left. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're just gonna need to make this extremely scuffed. At this point, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to build the entire box. Go, 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 go. Come on, Jack. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of flipping time. 14 seconds left. Are you kidding me? Build the head. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, oh, uh, this is not gonna work. Not gonna work, not gonna work. Okay, five seconds left. I'm putting down creeper head. Maybe that'll actually do the trick. I don't know. This is my worst build yet. Oh, I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to pass this room. I'm gonna get exploded by the creepers. Creeper disguise detected. I can't believe it. I still got a four out of 10. Oh, howdy there, fellow creeper. You ready to, for the for the party? Oh, hi, fellow creeper. Come in. Explosions not allowed. Don't worry, my man. I'm just, yeah, I'm just a normal. Okay, where, oh, flip, where, oh, okay. All right, my disguise is gone, but somehow I still was able to get through. Thank you, creeper guard. <laughs> I don't know how that worked. There's some random stone placed right in your way. There's a couple different options here. We could honestly just build a pickaxe and mine it all the way, but that's not really my style. Build button, activate. We're gonna need a little bit of extra time with this one, and I have no idea if I'm gonna actually be able to get it done. Okay, so we're gonna make it kind of tiny. There we go. Okay, we're gonna add in some red there. I need to make it into an actual cube. Okay, and then we'll add in this here. A little bit of white layer. That looks good. And then we'll add in this at the top. At the top, I think there's some white, and also we'll add in some black like this. 
And then since I made it kind of tiny, we're gonna need to figure out a way to fit the letters T and T. T, oh, duh, 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 N, is this gonna, f oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, I made, I made an H, T-H. It might recognize the colors. The one minute time limit is, is just killing me today. Okay, please just recognize that that is a TNT block. I should have just placed on a normal TNT block because that's literally all that I needed. It detected it. This machine is amazing. Six out of 10 points. All right. Oh, God. That's pretty good. Hey, Dr. Steven. Watch this. Oh, there we go. Explode. It exploded. Oh, this doesn't look good. I hope you like heights because there's no going back now. Oh. That looks like a long way down. Oh, wait, guys, this one's easy. We're gonna go ahead and grab some lime concrete and we're gonna make something very basic. Okay, we're gonna add in some blocks right there, add in some blocks right there, just like that. And we're gonna literally just make boots that are made out of slime so I could jump down and then bounce. I guess we can make them just like a little bit more beefy just in case, like it's a bigger fall than I anticipated. They look like giant L's. Hopefully the machine's able to pick it up. If it got the last couple i think it should be able to understand that these are slime boots i think maybe it actually might be able to hear me and that's how it knows exactly what to do let's go slime boots detected we got a nine out of ten for that one. Ooh, wait these are shiny let's see if they work oh yo they did oh yeah we bounced all the way down glad you made that next chamber hey dr steven i really hope you can solve this one we don't want you falling into lava right dr steven it kind of sounds like you do want me to fall into the lava. What is this? There's a platform controller right here and it looks like there's a gear on top. Are we actually able to use this thing in order to control the platform and bring it all the way over here? It's worth a shot. So in order to twist this thing, we're gonna need some sort of tool. And I have just the one in mind. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and build the base of the tool that I'm thinking. And then we're just gonna build around the edges. So it needs to have like a claw at the bottom and then kind of like a bigger claw at the top for twisting. Okay, this one needs to like wrap around a little bit. And honestly, like it's kind of there it's not my best build at all but hey i think the machine should probably understand that i just made a wrench oh my gosh my building skills are not what they used to be who am i kidding i never had any building skills who am i kidding i never had any building skills but it doesn't matter because this machine is amazing and it detected that i just built a wrench and it gave me 10 points oh i feel so good Dr. Steven, watch this. We're gonna go right click on this with the wrench. We're gonna twist it. Oh, wait, look at the platform. The platforms are coming up. Okay, I think that should do the trick. I don't need to hit it anymore. We can make this jump. We can make that jump. And then the last one. Let's go, we made it to the other side. Oh, it sounds dangerous in there. You need some water? No, Dr. Steven, I'm gonna need a bigger wrench. There's so many zombies. What are you going to do? I'm gonna panic. What the flip? I guess I could probably like jump over them. But dude, if I make one miss, step, I am not going to be able to make it to the other side. I can make a nuclear bomb, but that might explode the zombies and also the entire lab. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think we can get a win-win situation out of this. Let's go to the build button. Okay, so I'm going to need some green. We'll use some glass and also we'll have the outside be built out of brown terracotta. So this is the idea that I had in mind. Okay, so we need to make the base of it just like this. And then the top is going to sort of like come up like this, go to the side, go over here and then kind of like wrap back down. Okay, so that's gonna be the outside of the potion and then we need to fill it up with green stained glass so that the machine recognizes that we want to cure all of the zombies. If we could turn them all into villagers, then we should be able to just walk right by. I think that looks pretty good. Kind of looks like an apple a little bit, but maybe the machine will recognize that it's a potion to cure all of the zombies. It hasn't failed me so far. Zombie cure detected. Let's go. Zombie cure detected. Uh, you got six out of 10 points. Don't worry, zombies. Your days of being undead are over in three, two, one. Uh, <laughs> they all just got cured. Uh, there's so many of them. Uh, don't worry, Dr. Steven. All your friends are saved. And what are we going to do with this many villagers? I have no idea, Dr. Steven. Uh, good luck. What is this next room? You know, this last puzzle isn't exactly a puzzle. I want you to think the strongest item in the world and fight against a horde of vindicators. Good luck. Ooh, a horde of vindicators? Bro, what? Okay, okay, I need to think quick. 
Dr. Steven said to think of the strongest item in the entire world. Maybe I could get like a giant bulldozer with a wrecking ball and I could just wreck all of the Vindicators with it. I don't know if that would work. Maybe I could make a giant iron golem that would fight them all for me. Or maybe I can get a giant dragon pet, but it needs to be an item. Wait, I have an idea. What do you guys think the strongest thing in the entire universe is? Okay, so we're gonna need some gold. Red wool, green wool, uh, yellow wool, orange wool, and blue wool. Okay, so we're gonna need to go ahead and build this in uh, 2D first. Okay, so we'll build up the wrist part of this thing. There we go. Okay, and then we'll build out the entire hand of it. Okay, this side's gonna be need to be a little bit bigger. Okay, and it'll need to come together at the top. Uh, I think that that kind of looks okay. Okay, we need, need to add in the stone. So we'll add this stone, that stone, this stone, that stone, and then one stone goes on the side, and I think uh, maybe one stone goes in the middle here. Am I forgetting something? I'm definitely forgetting something, but this is gonna have to do for now. We will add in uh, so a couple extra fingers at the top, and boom! That's the infinity gauntlet. Oh, there is absolutely a 0% chance that this is going to work. This might be my worst build of the day. Infinity Gauntlet detected. What? I got a 9 out of 10. Let the fight begin. Oh my gosh. No way. Okay, well, let's test it out. What is it? Oh, that is the power stone. Oh my god. Oh, this thing is amazing. Okay, what else can I do? Can I switch the stones? Yes, I can. I think this might be the time stone or maybe the reality stone. What does this one do? Oh, no, that is definitely the reality stone. Okay, if I switch it again, that has to be the space stone because I'm able to levitate anything around me. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm gonna turn them all into squids. Wait, that's so effective. Look at it. We just need to kill 500 Vindicators in order to escape the lab. That should be pretty easy now that I have the Infinity Gauntlet with all of the Infinity Stones. Explode you. Ah, how you doing? <laughs> They're still trying to fight me even though I have the infinity gauntlet. Okay, my best bet here is just to turn them all into squids. You become squid, you become octopus, squid, you've been squid, squad, squid. <laughs> they spawn in and they don't even get to exist for more than two seconds before I turn them into a squid. Yep, yep, squid, yep. <laughs> It's working so well. 499, 500. Wait, 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 hold up. I just got locked inside the infinity gauntlet. Wow, that's amazing. That means our technology has the power to create an infinity gauntlet. We probably need to keep making more tests after this. We'll put you back to sleep and wake you up when you are ready to take more tests. Wait, no, no, let me out of here. No, why am I? <sighs> I'm getting kind of tired. Oh, I can't. Oh, gosh, okay. Um, cookies. 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 Um